the apparatus should be positioned close to the hydrant so as to allow hose connections to the hydrant assist utilizing shorter sections of 5 inch hose. The pump should be engaged and drive wheels chalked. A section of 5 inch hose should be connected from the unclappered side discharge on the hydrant assist to the main pump intake. Another 5 inch hose is then connected from the clappered side discharge of the hydrant assist to a large diameter pump discharge. The hydrant assist handle is turned to the boost position to allow water into the hose. Turning the handle in the other direction will result in complete shutoff of the hydrant. Air is bled from this hose line at the ball intake bleeder valve and the intake is open to allow water into the pump. The large diameter discharge valve should be opened next to allow water to pressurize the hose going back towards the hydrant assist. Pressure should be increased to open the clapper valve in the hydrant assist and boost the pressure in the supply line to the desired levels. Care must be taken by monitoring residual intake pressures, minimum 20 PSI, to prevent cavitation of the apparatus boosting the pressure.